Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, lecturer in computing at the National College of Ireland, and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to edit a basic Gantt chart in Microsoft Excel 2010. In a previous video, which you'll find on my channel, I showed you how to create a basic Gantt chart like the one you see here on the right-hand side, which is based on the data for an e-learning project here on the left-hand side. I've got my tasks, my start date, durations, and end dates. And if you want to learn how to draw a basic Gantt chart like this in Excel, uh, click on the link that's appearing on the video in the text box now. Let's say we want to add in a few extra features onto this chart. Over the years since I created the original video, I've been asked about can uh, we make some small modifications to the chart to make it look a little bit better. So here's one I've prepared earlier here, and this one here is the same Gantt chart with the same data, but this time I've got some data labels, uh, in this case it's the durations in white in the center of each bar on the, uh, representing a task on the Gantt chart. I've also added in the resources, that's the people assigned to each task, and you can see one of the tasks, it's the simulation task, has been highlighted in a different color. So these are just some of the things you can do to edit your Gantt chart. I'd also like to be able to uh, link the end dates with the duration and the start dates a little bit better than I've done before. So let's switch back to the uh, basic data here. And the first thing I want to do is I want to link the end dates with my start dates. And the reason I want to do this is, uh, let's say for example in my chart here, I, I want to change the duration of the plan course task, the first task from four days up to six days. So if I just type in six to overwrite the four here, um, what happens is that the end date, which was the 8th of January, remains the 8th of January and there's no change there. So just let me change the date back to the 4th. If I change uh, also the start date from the 5th of January to let's say the uh, 10th of January, we can also see that our end date remains as the 8th of January here. So I'd like to be able to link that and automatically update the end date if I change the start date or the duration. So let's undo that change there. And to do this, um, um, Excel allows us to add numbers to dates and indeed to add dates to each other. So what I'd like to be able to do is add the duration to the start date. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to put in a formula here in the end date cell, overwrite what's in there, equals the 5th of January, which is in cell B3, plus the duration, which is 4, that's in cell C3, and press enter. Now we can see here that the end date actually is the day uh, five days after the start date. Um, task starting on the 5th of January, which has a duration of four days, well that'll be the 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th of January. So we want it to end on the 8th of January. So we need to change the formula here and the simplest way to do that is just keep the existing formula and add in minus one at the end and that will bring us back to the, our 8th of January date that you see here. I'm going to use Excel's autofill tool to copy that formula down to the remaining end dates and we'll see that the, uh, we'll overwrite what's there, but no day end date will change, nor will the values on the Gantt chart change as well. So now if I change the duration, let's say I want to change the duration of the storyboarding task here from five days up to seven days. We can see it ends on the 28th of January. So if I change it from five to seven, just type in seven there, we can see that the end date changes to the 13th of January automatically. If I want to change the start date of a particular task, let's say I want to change the um, testing start date from the 26th of February to the 28th of February, so double click on that, type and just change the 26th to a 28th, we'll see that the existing end date of the 2nd of March will automatically be changed to the 4th of March. So just undo that there, and this allows us to, if we change the start date or the duration, our end date is automatically updated. Now these changes are also reflected on our Gantt chart over on the right-hand side as well. Let's take a look at the third task, which is storyboarding. If I increase the duration from five to seven days, as I've done previously, so let's put in seven here, we can see that the actual bar representing the task of storyboarding has also increased in size, as well as our end date changing here as well. So we have a visual uh, and a date change occurring on our chart. Now the next thing I'd like to be able to do is to um, add some labels to the data over here and I want to add the durations in on each chart, chart task. So I just do first of all just select with my left mouse button the any one of the tasks and it will automatically select all the tasks here. Insert uh, with the right mouse button choose to add data labels on, in the pop-up menu. This automatically puts in the second of our two lists here which is our duration you can see it being highlighted over here on the left hand side. 
Uh, the default color is black, so I'm going to change those all to, um, by selecting um, the numbers, I'm going to change it to white. Makes it a little bit stand out a bit better here. And I'm also going to make them bold just to make them a little bit easier to read. So now, for example, uh, we can see my storyboarding task has got a five day duration and that label is on the chart. If I change the, in the d data field over here, the duration from five to seven days, we can see that our task over here in the middle also changes to seven days. So now we have um, our uh, data labels on each of our tasks on our chart. Let's say we also want to be able to um, highlight a particular task, and, and I want to look at the simulations task here, and let's assume that's a task that's a challenging task, and we're going to be under stress to get it done on time, and I'd like to highlight it in a different colour as a special task. So if I just uh, select with my left mouse button, one click the box, and you can see it being highlighted here, and then right click on that, I can now change the format, the um, um, data point here, select fill, and choose a, um, a solid fill, and I'm going to choose um, the default blue color that's here. I can change, choose any color I like, and click on close, and we can see that our that particular bar has changed to a blue color. Finally, I'd like to be able to add in um, the resource names. Each task has had a person assigned to them, so plan course, for example, has had John assigned uh, to that particular task, and I'd like his name to appear on the right-hand side of the task, just like you'd see on a lot of project management software. Now to do this is quite straightforward. We can insert a simple text box. So on the Insert tab, select Text Box and click here to the right of the Plan Course option and just type in John's name. And move him up to beside there. And John is uh, uh, now assigned that particular task. We can also see that John has been assigned to other tasks. So I'm going to copy that um, uh, text box and insert it. Uh, and put it beside other tasks that John is assigned to. I can see he's assigned to graphics, and I can also see that he is assigned to the testing task. So insert uh, from the clipboard uh, John again and put him beside the testing task. Jane is the next person here, so I want to insert her. So I click on the text box. She's uh, Her name is beside the second task. And type in Jane. Move that up beside the task there. Um, choose to copy that because Jane is assigned to two other tasks. She's assigned to simulations. I'm going to put, paste that in here. And she's also, I can see, assigned to integration. So paste her name in again to integration. Ali then is assigned to uh, three other tasks here. So we want to add Ali's name in here. So that's again straightforward enough. Insert, click on text box. Uh, Ali's first task is a storyboarding task. So I'm going to put uh, his name in here. Um, copy it again so that I can paste it down beside the other tasks. He's assigned the review task and he's also assigned the final task in the project which is the uh, release task. So there we have it. Uh, we can make some simple changes to our uh, basic Gantt chart in Excel by uh, changing colors, adding data labels, um, changing the uh, link from the end date to include the duration and the start date, and also finally, as we've just seen, to add resources to the chart. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.